What's going on there, folks? Welcome back here, Earthmaster, on this end with the uh, Saturday night update upon us, February 24th, 2024, 11.09 p.m. here, California time, and I'm out here with the one and only Missy Mimi. He's my other half here, my better half, I should say. How's it going, Missy Mimi? It's going good. How's it going, guys? So I figured she should stop in and at least say hi, right? It's been a little while since she's been here on the live stream, so uh, we always like to bring Missy Mimi's in for a, for a little chat. Yeah. All right. I won't put you on the spot, though. Just It'll just be me tonight. I know Missy Mimi's gets a little shy when I put her on the microphone here, but all right. So what do we got going on here? A uh, 1.3, the latest earthquake there in California. Very small earthquake, not a whole lot going on. Uh, covering space weather activity right now. Looks like we're popping up here with a little bit of flaring in the sea flare category. Not a whole lot going on, but we're still watching this gigantic sunspot right here, 3590. Um, if it's going to do something, it better do something soon because eventually here in a couple days, it will be venturing off to the western limb and not, uh, well, it won't be all that geo effective. So, even though we've seen a couple X flares here, they have not been um, productive in terms of a CME. So we're waiting for uh, maybe some, uh, you know, at least a decent CME being produced from this area. And that would enhance the Aurora forecast. But for now, got to watch it. Does harbor uh, the potential here of some X flare probability, at least a 30% chance there from that region. Again, we're currently flaring there with the C4.1 from that area. That's about the only region of concern right now in terms of major flaring activity. Still looks uh, beautiful. Absolutely stunning sunspot, to say the least. Not a whole lot in terms of the auroras for the forecast, but it looks like we are uh, getting a little enhancement here. This was, uh, I guess this was a little forecasted here for uh, tonight. Um, or late later today, I think. Uh, either way, that may be arriving a little bit early. Hey, it's 11 11. Uh, so that's uh, a little bit of uh, aurora possibilities up there at the higher latitudes. Nothing big. Uh, hopefully, we can change that here in the uh, days ahead. Looking out here across the USGS map, uh, lighten up out here across the Puerto Rico area, north of Puerto Rico. Uh, this is definitely a decent earthquake activity event uh, kicking up here. With uh, quite a few threes and whatnot uh, stirring up here. Some of those deep, some of those shallow up here across the northern edge of the Puerto Rico region. Uh, we'll continue to watch that. Definitely shown some elevated activity. And uh, looks like that movement there uh, across the Puerto Rico area is following this 5.3 there in the coast of Nicaragua. Uh, this is into the southern end of the Middle America Trench. Of course, when activity stirs up down here. We watched the squeeze go on here across the Caribbean plate. And that kind of looks like what's going on there uh, currently across the area. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on the Puerto Rico area that is currently swarming. South America, a handful of smaller quakes out there. Um, let's see what else we got out here. Looks a lot more active here on the Earthquake 3D program than it does on the USGS map. Quite a few threes here across the New Zealand area. Uh, getting some deeper region uh, quakes down there underneath North Island once again. Starting to see uh, a little bit of activity fill in here across the uh, Vanuatu area and the Papua New Guinea region. This has been um, somewhat quiet, but it looks like things are filling in quite nicely across the area. Uh, mostly, uh, you know, typical earthquakes out here, 4 in the 5 range in the magnitudes. Uh, aside from that, we'll continue to watch that area though. 4.9 right now coming into the uh, Philippines area, it looks like here, across the Philippine Trench. Uh, let's see, further activity up around the Java Trench here with a couple 4s and 3s. Got a little clustering going on here off the coast of Sumatra. Continue to watch that. That's very capable of producing some decent quakes out there. 5.7 out here on the China side of the border earlier this evening. Uh, it's a fairly decent earthquake, although the USGS reporting that downgrading it to a 5.4 here on the China border area. Uh, aside from that, let's see what else we got out here. Uh, Mediterranean region seeing mostly smaller quakes out there. The Atlantic Ocean, quiet and clear. Not a whole lot going on out there for now. As far as the states go, let's go ahead and check this out, see what's going on out here. A little bit of movement in Texas. For the California area, 
Um, handful of earthquakes out here, but generally this is a um, typical movement. We got one little earthquake here on the Brawley Seismic Zone from earlier this morning. Not really seeing any earthquake swarming going on down there for now, which is good news. But uh, as always, the San Andreas Fault needs to be watched and, uh, it, you know, obviously building up enough steam and pressure out there to create a big earthquake here soon. Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot, a whole lot going on there for now. Uh, and the same out here in Hawaii, just general earthquake activity out there across Pahala. No elevated movement for now across the volcano there of Kilauea Volcano. A look at the UWE tilt station there at the summit of Kilauea Volcano continues to show leveling off after uh, this early, earlier this month. That huge displacement of magma occurring uh, there from the summit region off to the southwest rift zone. We haven't really recovered from that. All right, uh, Iceland area. Let's see what's going on up here for earthquake activity. Got about 19 earthquakes here in the last 12 hours, toning down a little bit. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about anything until we see elevated earthquake activity out here across the divergent zones there around Iceland, north and south there of the area, which currently is not taking place here. The uh, Atlantic Ocean has been awfully quiet, uh, but I'm sure that will kick back up here uh, in the coming days and weeks ahead. But for now, a couple hot spots to watch. Obviously, the Puerto Rico area and... Um, uh, decent swarming going on here across the Java Trench is noted on the Earthquake 3D globe. So we'll continue to watch this area for some further movement as well. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center out here. Not a whole lot of severe weather for now. Day 4 and Day 5 as, as we head into next week looks fairly active. Uh, we'll continue to watch that uh, and report back on that. It's a little early though to jump into the... Uh, uh, the specifics of what's going on out there, but uh, we'll check that out maybe as we head tomorrow or maybe Monday. As far as the long-term models go out here across the uh, states, California has a next storm system coming in. It looks like uh, as we head into Monday and Tuesday, not really expecting much rainfall with the system, mostly colder air coming down from the north. Uh, a decent shot of some heavier precipitation as we head into Thursday and Friday of this coming week. Uh, there across the west coast that will bring some significant snowfall there to the sierra nevada mountains uh, aside from that looks like cold air is going to stick around for a little bit um, i don't see any major impactful storms out here across the west coast as far as any flood makers for now but uh, again that's always subject to change as these models uh, you know that's a ways out there march 12th is uh, a couple weeks away so we'll continue to watch that uh, Yellowstone National Park here, not a whole lot going on far as the uh, earthquake activity goes. Looks fairly quiet. Only a handful of uh, very small earthquakes. And a look at the seismograph stations there. A couple of them are offline, but I'm sure they'll come back uh, a little bit later tonight. Aside from that, things look fairly quiet. I think Missy Mimi's is ready for bed. <laughs> All right, folks, um, have yourself a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. Someone was asking me how to become a member here on this channel real quick. If you go here to the Earthmaster channel, and uh, this is on the computer, obviously, a desktop. I think they have upgraded the mobile um, YouTube app here to, to be able to see this join button. If you, do see, if you don't see this on the uh, YouTube mobile app then you may have to go onto a desktop to click the join button and from here uh, you're given the opportunity to sign up for three uh, levels right here and basically these are all the same uh, the added uh, money here is just kind of a, a way to show support for this channel uh, we do have quite a few folks that want to help um, contribute and, and monetize here for the channel in the channel supporters range uh, so a lot of people sign up for that, but mostly super fan members. Either way, it doesn't matter what member um, group you're in. We will um, have member drawings, obviously, every single month. And every single person that signs up here in any of these categories is automatically entered into the member drawing that we hold uh, on the 15th of each month. So, yeah, uh, if you want to be a sponsor of the Earthmaster, that's just kind of a way of just showing a 
you know, a, 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 month, a monthly donation there to the channel, which helps us out. It keeps everything up and running uh, as far as the internet and whatnot goes. Uh, we do live stream 24-7. I'm hoping to get out here this year and have a little bit more geology visits at various uh, various places. And I'm um, going to probably uh, maybe do like a little... Uh, maybe like a little poll here re uh, soon uh, in terms of where you may want to um, have us cover, like maybe a certain area. Uh, I can't go to Iceland. You know, I, I wish I could. It'd have to be somewhere local, but uh, we'll get into more of the specifics of that a little bit later. I would love to go to Iceland uh, and check out the, uh, you know, the uh, volcano activity and the northern lights and whatnot up there, but... Uh, yeah, it's a little on the uh, expensive side, I would say. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have yourself a good night. Uh, we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow, Sunday morning update. Um, you know, it's just, I, I don't know. I've been, my, my bird's out here. I don't, I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, pay attention to uh, the animal behaviors and whatnot. Uh, but my birds have been awfully quiet here today. And my, I got a couple parakeets, and they're normally squawking in the background. And um, all day, even when I'm not on the computer here, they've just been absolutely quiet. My dog's been out in the uh, field kind of barking at nothing. Uh, but it seems like maybe they're on to something. I just don't know what. Uh, maybe they're sensing something. But uh, either way, my birds have been awfully quiet. Not a whole lot of trimmer out here. Uh, they're across the Cascadia for now, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like to pay attention to animals. I, I tend to think that they have, uh, you know, a, a different sense in terms of, uh, you know, the vibrational frequencies that may be given off, given off from uh, events like earthquakes and whatnot, and space weather activity. Yeah, they always say animals can tell before we do. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I believe it, but I don't know why my birds are so quiet. It's weird. I know, it is weird. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tomorrow morning. Have a good night. Stay safe out there, and, of course, be prepared. Have an earthquake plan. We'll uh, catch you guys here in the morning. Have a good night, guys.